Hello, everybody. Hello, <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. It is uh, the newest issue of Terror Plus Drinks. Bridget and I are remote again in an abundance of caution, wanting to keep everybody, um, what you call it, quarantined? For, <laughs> Safe for the holiday? For the holidays. Yeah. Um, we're, we're not trying to get, yeah, we're going to see some old people this yeah. holiday season. Because remember, we live right by our families, so um, the old people. Yeah, and some of our families are part of our childcare routine, and who knows? So we're just trying to be safe, so you can enjoy us remotely. (laughs) Also, what Nick surely meant by issue a mutual. I was talking to a mutual friend of ours and the podcast that recently was able to go back to grandma daycare. And she seemed um, very happy about that. So, you know, we yeah. won't want to screw that up for the mutual friend. <laughs> That's right, mutual friend. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, thanks for dealing with this during, you know, the holiday season. Seems like COVID was on the rise around the area. So, we're just doing our best. But, man, instead, you get this beautiful vest of mine, which certainly I wouldn't have remembered if I wasn't at home. <laughs> I had that jingle jangles that I think you can hear the jingle jangles. Yes, I purposely picked a hat that didn't have a bell because I thought you might be so angry. <laughs> well, well here we are. I we so are miss, like miss, don't like. Do you have an abundance? Do you have lots of ugly sweaters? I feel like you don't. I don't. I, I don't have like a bag. Sweaters. I'm not into them. What? I just. Oh, I love it, and like I think I have enough to wear every day from now until Christmas, and I will because I'm just here. <laughs> so today, Friday the 18th, is official Ugly Christmas sweater day, though, right? I don't know. Is that a thing? I think it is. I believe so. <laughs> or as they call it in England, a Christmas jumper. Christmas jumper day. Well, I'm wearing a vest, which is you know usually Very if I was sewing. To an ugly sweater party, I would wear a turtleneck with like snowmen on it with this beautiful ornament vest. Oh. Yeah, I know, but like it's okay at Christmas. Oh. I also have a few crew neck sweatshirts. Um, I had a Zoom call with some friends last night that I thought was like a holiday Zoom call because we're not going to all see each other. So I wore my green crew neck sweatshirt with a giant Santa face, and a couple of the girls were like, what, what do you wear? Are we supposed to be wearing ugly sweaters? I'm like, I don't know. But why not? <laughs> be festive. It's the time I mean, of the yeah. year. It's COVID. Everybody should just be a little festive. Right. This is what we're doing. I also like used to have really great earrings that I can't find. So Nick, you missed out on my earrings. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Very. That would have been great. I mean, I appreciate when other people go all out. I'm not yeah. quite a, you know, themed <clears throat> person. I think we oh. talked about this around Halloween. I'm not great at the. I was but. thinking of this as I was, you know, digging out my vest. I'm like, have I told my podcast friends that how much I love a good theme? I'm like, I must have. So here yeah. I am again. Every time. Every time I wear something funny, I must tell you guys. So awesome. Um, okay. So not big on the themes. What about, what are like some family traditions you guys do at Christmas? I want to know. So we always have this weird thing of not having any plans and not oh. knowing what we're going to eat or anything like that, because it's very dependent on like how terrible things go at work. Yes, or that's how right. Well they go at work. <laughs> so like we will, you know, I always think it's funny that people are like, oh, there's this butcher's cut that they keep for themselves. And if you can get it, it's really no. good because they, it's like, no. You know what I like more than this kind of meat that I can get whenever, honestly? Selling money. it. <laughs> I like money. Oh, so like man. we will sell we will sell you our last rib roast that we had our name on. Like we will sell it to you because you know what we want? Money. There's some other man. meat. There's some <laughs> other meat. We can always find other meat. So our tradition, the Leahy family tradition, always has been um ham- cheeseburgers. And oh, French onion soup on Christmas Eve. And because oh, we yeah. always have ground beef. Like, if we don't have ground beef, something went really terrible. Yeah, it's been a really like, bad year. Really, I mean, or really great. I don't know. But really, we should never be out of ground beef. No. So, I don't ever want to hear yeah. of you not having that. <laughs> we, uh, Sarah and I got engaged on Christmas Eve. And. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, we have we have a little tradition around that that involves eating a Jack's frozen cheese pizza, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, we're a little militant about like no, 
we're not going to go to your house for dinner on Christmas Eve. Oh. And um, don't really care, but that's what we're going to do. So, and then Christmas Day is like, it, you know, it's for us, it's always been a catastrophe because we've been the last ones with kids. So we go wherever, you know, we're like, yeah. oh, we don't have kids, it's flexible. Even though, like, we all work a lot and really yeah. can use the day off, but we're like, oh, we're flexible. <laughs> Yeah. So this year, we made it very clear. I think we're going to do our own brunch. I'm going to make uh, waffles. I make really good Ooh. waffles. Yeah, um, Like and, Leslie Nope waffles? Uh, I do mini ones. I do mini oh, ones. Even better. Good. Good choice. And then uh, we'll have some maple syrup from our friends uh, at Taps, Jeremy, Yum. the yeah. Solon family, and some bacon, and some of our delicious Christmas spice pork sausage links. Yes. So good. Maybe I'll make eggs. I hate them, but my girls seem to like them. So, you know, maybe I'll Everyone make eggs. in the world likes them. <laughs> so, bananas, because Simona loves bananas. And, um, yeah, it's going to be great. What are you, what that are you, what awesome. are you doing? Yeah, we, uh, you know, this year is kind of up in the air still, to be honest. But every year I found myself like, I forget, someone asked me something about a tradition. I don't remember what it was. And um, I had to like come up with a list of some of our traditions. And it was like silly things. But my dad's birthday is on December 23rd. And so we're always very Happy careful. Birthday, like, Sean. Yes. And now we have Max, Shannon's son. His birthday is tomorrow. So the 19th, by the time you guys listen to it, it will have been yesterday. Oh, um, so happy birthday, birthday Max. Max. Yeah. So Max is turning two. So we have a lot of birthdays around Christmas, but um, so we try and focus on that, you know, um, but until two years ago. Um, my, it's Jesus's birthday too. Okay. He's the reason for the season. It is Jesus's birthday. Um, but my sister's and I. It's the commemoration <laughs> of Jesus's birthday. He was born in the summer. Okay. Well. <laughs> You're right. Um, we so my dad, you know, tends to do some shopping late in the game, but he's always he's always worked very hard, you know, and owned his own businesses a lot of the time, and so he's working a lot up until Christmas. And we know, like, the day he puts on his Santa hat and starts like driving through town and running errands, dad's like in full on Christmas mode, and he usually yes. does that on his birthday. He like switches to the Santa hat, and we always try and make it about his birthday, but he doesn't care, you know. So that has always been like a little tradition of ours, not a tradition per se, but like about Jesus's birthday more. That's why, yes. <laughs> so that's been really fun. Um, we do this silly thing that I just have to mention because my sisters who are listening will get a kick out of it. Every year until we were way too old, we did this thing. My parents used to, um, if there are young kids listening, maybe don't listen anymore right now. <laughs> um, skip forward we, a minute. <laughs> just skip forward. We would, um, my parents would put garland at the top of the staircase. And so like Christmas morning, we'd wake up and you couldn't pass the garland. Like we knew we could just go under it or move it, but you couldn't pass it. And it turns out it's because my parents could like do any last minute things they needed to do out in the living room. And then they also could get the video camera ready because it was like a camera at the time, you know, like a video camera. You had to make sure you had a tape in at the time. So, um, so anyway, that's a silly tradition that like we've brought to my kids and like we live in a split level. So we tape it's it like a across perfect situation. We tape it like across that hallway, you know, where the bedrooms are and like yeah. Elliot, Elliot's four, so he like just wants the presents now, and so he gets really angry. I, mean, I, I imagine he'll get very angry this year that he has to wait behind it. <laughs> so anyway, we, I have a list of fun things that like and silly Lucy little things. But... No, anything. So Lucy yeah, Lucy's just gonna just... do whatever she wants. <laughs> Luckily, she's in a crib, so we can control her. <laughs> but we did decide that tonight. We're going to do, you know, everyone this year is like doing all the Christmas lights things, right? Because you can't do anything. So you're going to drive yep. through the light shows. So we don't want to like drive an hour to a light show. And so we are going to drive around. We printed out little cards um, that says like, we really appreciate your lights and you're one of our favorite houses and whatever. It says oh, a little more great. than that. So we're going to drive around with the kids and like pick out our favorite houses just like in town and leave it, leave a little note in their mailbox. Because I feel like more people have put lights up this year, right? So I had a little discussion with someone about possibly arranging something like this. Oh, and, okay. Uh, our discussion was a little different that the concentration of lights maybe wasn't quite as great. Oh, maybe it's not the concentration, but I feel like there's more of them. Yes. I mean, also my house can be seen from space because I yes. bought them 10 times as bright right. LEDs. Well, and maybe like we live on a dead end and our dead end is all decorated this year and it hasn't been. So maybe I just feel like, 
you there's also more have a guy like two houses over from you with the annoying laser lights. Yes. And every time you're anywhere near your house, you're like, oh my God, there's a laser in my yeah. eye. I'm having a seizure. <laughs> this is the so, worst. Don't do I'm the laser sure, lights, like, people. No, and don't do the mismatching like 10 different types. Okay, oh, yeah. we're not judging you. We're saying thanks for putting up Christmas lights to make us smile. Tyler did a really nice job on your house. Like, I'm very impressed. Yeah. You did a really great job. It, I, I was too. It's really just quaint. He hates doing that stuff. So it means that, you know, it's like a, it's an act of service that I can see he's doing for me. And it, they're perfect, just like very simple, but it like matches the aesthetic of our house. I'm very pleased with them. <laughs> I love that he's not coaching basketball, so he can do things like this now. Yes, we are talking about that. And the Badgers are 0-6. Um, this is Lake Geneva High School, not like the Wisconsin Badgers, everybody. Um, but Tyler, yeah, he's been following the team. So rough start to the season for them. They've been close games, which has been a problem of theirs for a couple of years. So feel bad for those guys. But so, let's sports. talk about food. Okay, I yeah. Mean, I think my traditions <laughs> are more around food than yours because I'm more yeah. of a like, I eat all the things. She had like these nice garland. And yeah, wow. we have all kinds of ridiculous. Wow. We have food. But it's I, just like cinnamon rolls out of a can. <laughs> or, my you mom know. makes bubble loaf, or some people call oh. it monkey bread. Oh, yes. That is, yes, Ooh. that is oh, so good. She does that. that she does delicious. that really well. Mm, sounds good, my Kathy. Mom <laughs> is an okay cook. You know, it's not like her thing. It's not like what she's known for, but she's an okay cook. Yeah. But where she really kills it is this bubble loaf. That's, That's where she kills it. Also, I feel like I need rolls. to make that. She's a great job with rolls and generally oh. mashed potatoes. She's good and free now, though, supposedly. <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to have the bubble loaf this year. Gluten-free bubble loaf. <laughs> Bummer. Actually, don't you need, like, you need gluten to get that, like, nice, light, airy texture. So, you know, feels like my sisters have both tried to make, like, my great grandma cinnamon roll recipe. That's, like, a shit ton of work and Brittany love you but she like failed miserably the first year and they were so bad and she did it for so long um so the next year she redeemed herself they were very good and then Probably um because she's you know not using a lard in the cooking you need the I mean, lard it might be um and then Shannon, I think Shannon tried them, but Shannon perfected a really good homemade cinnamon roll recipe at our birthday this year. So again, I bring them out of the Pillsbury tube. That's what I bring to the party. Shannon's so such a good baker, though. So like, I know. So she'll probably do something. On Shannon. Could I mean I don't know. I the tradition is the cinnamon rolls out of the tube. <laughs> you're, you're really good at dressing up like a you know theme. Ding dong. Yeah. Ding dong. Yep. Shannon's really I, good at making things. I'm you really good at dress up. up. <laughs> I make the mimosas. Actually, my dad does. I don't do that either. <laughs> so I do just sit there and look nice in this vest. <laughs> I want to talk okay. about chorizo bowls because okay. I made some really good chorizo bowls this week. And I just feel the need to tell people. I've been slacking on my Instagram account a little bit <laughs> because it's been like a really busy time at work and Chris Kindle marketing yeah. and all these things. Crazy week. And, um, but my bowls, everybody needs a chorizo because it is so delicious, so easy, perfectly seasoned taco meat. <laughs> then you do a bowl, especially as your child starts running around because you can eat the bowl and still chase the child. <laughs> yeah, that's how we enjoy meals now. <laughs> but the rice and the guacamole and Target has this crema sauce in like a squeeze bottle. That really? It's a lime cilantro crema that oh. is bomb. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, what else do we have? We have beans and corn and salsa. And uh, <laughs> there's something else in there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It is really good. Cheese? Oh, lettuce and some cheese. Yep. There you go. <laughs> nice. And that sounds delicious. Are you a Qdoba person? Yeah. Who so, isn't? You know, like, you get the, 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 I don't know why people actually get the burrito and not the bowl. Yeah, like, I don't burrito, get the burrito. Like, you can't get the stuff in the burrito. It's a disaster. No. It but ends up being a bowl. bowl. Yes. And then you just like yeah. mix everything up and yeah. shake it. And then it's like this like creamy, yes. disastrous mess. Yeah. 
But I like to dip so chips good. in it though. Then you yes, dip. I, I like to put it on your tortilla chip, and it's like a mini taco. <laughs> yes. People that don't do that really confuse me because it's so clear. Mm. Like, get all the things in your thing in the to go container. Shake it all up. Shake it up. Yes. It with the chips. Like, it's so yes. clear. That is how you do it. This is like so horrifying that I'm admitting this. But do you remember? Do you remember the salad shakers at McDonald's? I don't know if that's still a yeah, thing. Those were great. Okay. But I think that's where I learned, I must have eaten those a lot at McDonald's, I don't know, but that's where I learned to like, put it in a thing, shake it up, was those stupid salad shakers. I don't get how those went around or went away because they actually had good lettuce. And the reason why yeah. is because they go through so much of it. Sure. So like, it's always fresh, it's, you know. That makes but, sense. And then like, the ham and like, the cheese and the, their dressings are really, you know. I know. I'm not saying healthy, but. <laughs> but it's good. It yeah, I good. I, I like haven't those had a lot. A, I know. I I haven't been to McDonald's. I can't even tell you in how long. I like wanted an ice cream sundae or something, and they were so rude to me because their menu is limited. I don't know all these things, and I was like, "Listen, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know. I never come here, so like, just give me an ice cream sundae." Anyway, I haven't been there in a long time. Is my point. <laughs> so okay, I, <laughs> you're eating real food this yeah. week. That's great. <laughs> I you know McDonald's. You know, there's a website that says, is their Sunday machine up or down? Or their ice cream really? machine? Yeah, so it shows you, like, if you could actually get a McFlurry. I went there, like, a month ago because I wanted a fry and a Coke. It was, like, 2 o'clock. Yep. I hadn't had anything to eat that day. I'm like, I just want a small fry and one of the big-ass $1 Diet Cokes. And it is a well-known fact, Coca-Cola is better at McDonald's because they, like, by the, the way they get the concentrates a little different and um they like ice it differently so it's colder so it's like more delicious i mean their coke is better than anywhere else <laughs> so that's why i went to mcdonald's for i was like i just need a little bag of crispy salty deliciousness yeah and a coke not judging you man <laughs> that's they're cool <clears throat> well, okay, so I, speaking of healthy food, <laughs> all I've got for you this week about what I've, what I've been eating, yeah, it's along those lines. We've been doing a lot of baking this week because, you know, Elliot loves to bake. And when I say baking, I still make all the easiest things in the world. So fudge and peanut brittle and uh, I did make caramels, whatever. Easy things that are like peanut butter. Peanut, uh, peanut brittle is great with pork. What? Oh yes, <laughs> I did I make my... our Christmas cookie and wine pairing episode of Pinky's Up. Check it out. Watch. We're also we're dressed festive for it. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we just did some baking. So I'm gonna go with like that was obviously the best thing I ate this week because you eat while you're making it, and you know we are all about the food and the memories on this show. So you're. That's like my only, not my only, but my biggest food tradition is we always do like a baking day. Mine now extended over many days because I have kids, so we can do like one thing a day. Um, so, but yeah, Elliot helped. We made some great things. So I'm all about the Christmas baking. That's what I ate this week that I loved. Easy enough. I love it. That's wonderful. I love it. Yeah. We almost, though, we skipped our most important part of the show, I think. <laughs> what did we skip? What are we drinking? <laughs> Oh, right now I am drinking San Pellegrino. Water. <laughs> um, Out of a coffee mug. Are you a San Pellegrino person? I mean, I know yeah, you're bubbly. We did the whole thing. Yeah, I do love San Pellegrino. And actually, um, I don't have any, though. I, I like, never think to buy it. Class. I like it straight out of the bottle. I think it makes a difference, actually. Just, it you know, does, and I prefer it, like, the not, uh, carbonation dispersed a little bit more. Oh, yeah, no, I like it the other way, so, you know. But I don't ever think to buy San Pellegrino. I always buy some other bubbly, but I'm just drinking plain old boring water right now. <laughs> we should do a Pinkies Up, where we test the idea of if the wine glass you drink out of makes a difference with the wine. Oh, we should do that. Um, I have not, I am now a believer that it does. I never used to think so, but... Now I am a believer. I Shannon is a firm them. believer. Shannon's very smart. Also very good at thinking. <laughs> yes. Again. <laughs> Fine, everybody. Okay. What were you going to say? I don't know. 
okay, man, you said I got something. Whatever. Life I like is hard. Sam That's cool, like. cool. We're moving on. So we're not exciting is our point. We're not drinking right now because um, we are separate and we are hydrating ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> getting ready for the hydration. I can't. I always forget in the winter. We're like, I actually need to drink more because it's so dry. Yes, so much water. And when your lips get start to get chapped, yes. it's because you're dehydrated. Yes, we're teaching this talent right on now. And like, yes. So you're just breathing like moisture. Yeah, I used to, I used to lick my upper lip as a kid a lot, and I'd get that like red chapped mustache, which is like really horrifying for a young person woman and i mean i wasn't i was young but i cared whatever age i was and so elliot does it now and he gets like just a chapped line right here and gets so upset and we're like dude you got to drink more water stop licking your lips <laughs> i mean i thought that was where lucy punched him but that could makes be. more sense could be we never know man lucy's fast and she runs away who knows <laughs> It's like the, you know, the Will Ferrell uh, funny or die landlady one with the baby. Lucy's yes. definitely showing up oh in the middle God. of the night in Elliot's room, haunting him, <laughs> saying, Bitch, where's my money? Give me my money. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so good. I haven't watched that in so long. Okay. That should be a highlight reel. Um, okay. So I would make that a random news story of mine. However, I have one that I love so much for the holiday season. <laughs> You're going to think it's so boring, but I'm going to share it anyway. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's, if you listen to our last weeks, it was a, it was a challenging week. So, and then this week has been a, a whole different challenging week for a number of reasons. So I'm trying to find all the happy like holiday things because I love the holiday season. So there's a, a, a site I'm sure I've mentioned before, before called Love What Matters. And there was this story and it was just entitled $208. I'm like, okay, what's this all about? So it was a guy who went through a drive through at Dunkin' Donuts and he bought a gift card for $208. And his wife passed away six months ago. She would come to Dunkin' Donuts every morning and order her coffee. So the guy said he wanted to do something to remember her. So he calculated out how much she spent at Dunkin' every day for those six months, bought a gift card in that amount, and then gave it back to Dunkin' Donuts and said, buy everyone's, buy $208, you know, spend this gift card until it's up. And so then the guy and his son sat in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot and watched all of these people's reactions. And I was like, oh, this is the cutest thing in the world. So Aww. that was my happy news story. It was so great. And like, I love hearing about the like chain of buying people coffee. I'm like, how are you the person that stops that? How are you the one that's like, nah, I'm not going to buy the coffee for the person behind me? <laughs> probably Jeff Bezos or something. You're like, yeah. Yeah. This is how yeah, I get rich. Buy your own coffee. <laughs> so I love hearing that stuff. So anyway, that's my happy story for you. <laughs> when I saw that you had Dunkin' Donuts drive through on this thing, I was like, I know. She went and got donuts without me. What a bitch. I don't, I don't like their donuts, actually. They're, They're really <laughs> not good. I love putting ambiguous things so that I surprise you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, but I want donuts. I want a donut? Well, man, I like to hear yours because I know where it's from, and I know it's going to be a happy one. <laughs> okay. So mine okay. is from Tank's Good News. And the headline is, giving, quote, unquote, senioritis a whole new meaning <laughs> colon 74 year old grandmother graduates with her granddaughter oh well, come on so 22 year old melody ormond graduated from university of Tosi at chattanooga the same day as her grandmother who got her Ooh. degree in anthropology oh so uh her the grandma first attended a college class in 1978 and was able to finish her degree 42 years later. She started in Kennesaw State University in Atlanta, but dropped out to have a family, moved to Chattanooga, all the things, has been doing some classes after she retired as an accountant, and okay. um, just kept going. She said, they both took classes together, and she said, Pat, the grandma, online classes are definitely more difficult. And I prefer in class. I really enjoyed the discussions and being able to interact with so many people from different backgrounds. Not having those people around made it much harder. No. Oh. So I thought that was really cool. That think, is cool. Um, I'm never going to retire because, I, I mean, I'm probably going to die in, while I'm working. Like, it's just kind of the way it's going to be. Uh, oh, Nick. Follow 
<laughs> I, but like I think it'd be also like I I have issues of like I like working. So <laughs> So it's your I fault. It's man, I think it's a man thing. Like I feel like your dad's the same way, right? Oh, for sure my dad's the same way. And, but you know. Yeah. So I always thought it'd be cool though, like because when you hit what, sixty five you can audit any class from UW for free. Oh, is that right? I, I yeah. guess I forgot so, that. I think yeah. Like you just like show up at Whitewater or Parkside or something, and roll and be like, "What up, bitches? Hey, I'm here to here. learn. I'm here for anthropology 101." <laughs> like, uh, this is, you know, how cool would it be to go like a history class? Like, I was there. Let me tell you, <laughs> this was real life. I know because you'd be learning about like 9/11. You're like, "Yeah, man, I grew up during that." Yeah, it would be weird but awesome. <laughs> I also think like that's going to be weird. Like when our kids teachers are teaching 9 11, they're like 25. They'd be like, <laughs> that's, not what I'm like. <laughs> that's not accurate. Oh my God. You'll be like the old man snickering in the back of the classroom. It'll be great. Or lecture hall, whatever. I would totally do that. Like Statler and Waldorf from the Muppets. <laughs> just like, <laughs> Oh man. I hate the Muppets. I gotta say. I don't know why, but they really drive me nuts. I know. I know. It's a weird I thing. Like Muppets Christmas Carol. No. I, no. I don't like any of those. Like, also, unpopular opinion, I don't like the Muppets. Also, I cannot stand the Elvin and the Chipmunks Christmas music. Is that something anyone likes? No, no one likes that. That's not an okay. unpopular opinion. Okay. I was like, do people enjoy this? Because they play it all the time. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's the worst i feel like it's yeah it's just the worst yeah the worst. so you know anyway that's what we got for you right now <laughs> right, time to take a break enjoy our lovely music Right, we are back and I always love this part <laughs> we're back maybe I should start singing it I say that every week um we're back with our product recommendations and it's still holiday gift guide I would say kind of maybe even well, though it's it pretty close. I do you want to start I mean yours is good or should we leave the suspense going Let's leave the suspense. <laughs> so, okay. Mine, um, I switched it up at the last minute. I can't promise you're going to have time to get these before the holiday. I know. So weird, right? <laughs> um, but I, I think everybody needs, I mean, we're big ornament people, ornaments that tell a story people. So like my tree looks like children barfed all over it, but like, that's, what's the best. Like, I love it. It's every ornament has a story. What? My tree looks like people barfed over it because Simona barfed on it this morning. She did not. Yeah. How do you get that off of a tree? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, that's disgusting. That didn't actually happen in my house, but mine has mismatched ornaments everywhere and like, I don't care. I love it. So my product recommendation is simply a 2020 ornament. So we buy ornaments every year that like are a remembrance of something for the kids. So like we had a cotton candy maker at Lucy's first birthday. So I have a cotton candy machine ornament for Lucy, for example. Um, so for the family this year, I've gotten a 2020 one and you can get like nice ones. There's, there's an Etsy shop that has an adorable, I mean, there's a million of them, but that has a house and it says like the year we all stayed home. Or um, I'll link to this Etsy shop, but they've got some funny ones that are like Merry Christ mask and it's Santa with a mask or oh, it says 2020 and it's got a one of five star reviews. It says very bad, would not recommend. Oh, I Hilarious. Like that one. I've seen that one. Yes. And I hadn't seen that one until recent. So this person has some hand stitched ones, uh, cross stitch ones, which are just hilarious. So I'll link to them, but I think everybody needs to get themselves a 2020 ornament. Even if with shipping, it's not going to arrive on time. You should have it. So next year you can pull it out and laugh at it when you're putting it up on the tree. <laughs> Very well, different than next recommendation. <laughs> it is the only thing that makes me happy in my life anymore. And that it is and his family. It is a drone. I yes. have acquired the GGI Mini 2 drone. It <laughs> Mini is two. Ultra, actually, I have it right here. Let me show you. Oh, I just have my little baby. You can see it. 
Look at it. It's so small. So it it's so ultra light foldable. You just go like this. And you have a quadcopter drone. Uh, you can fly it to spy on people. Um, we used it for Chris Kindle Market. Got some cool video footage. I actually need to put up a little behind on the FOMO posting there. Uh, <laughs> you can fly it to take pictures of your house. Uh, took it up to Bridget's house. Yeah. Elliot was able to fly it a little bit because it's pretty easy to fly. Yeah. Um, Elliot did a great job. He uh, <laughs> didn't, you know, do anything. He didn't break it. So, so we'll that call was that a great. Win. Uh, it has ultra clear 4K video, level five wind resistance, 10 Ooh. kilometer video transmission, and a 31 minute max flight time. I'm more of the like 20 minutes to 25 minutes, but it's really cold right now, which, you know, hurts that. And it's also yeah. windy, which also hurts that. But this thing is great. And it is it's only 249 grams. You don't need a license. So Los Federales don't have to know what you're up to. Oh, oh that goes by weight? Yeah. So if it oh. was 250 grams, it would have to Come be, on. you know, like, yeah. So this <laughs> That's thing, ridiculous. I'm going to tell you, if you're having a rough year, <laughs> and you're just like a dude that likes stuff and likes toys, this, this is, is it. the best toy you can get. <laughs> I highly recommend it. I have a link to it in the show notes. Um, maybe I'll put the video like in a picture and picture thing if you're watching on YouTube so you can see some of my video shots that I did. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the worst part of Chris Kindle Market was I spent a lot of time practicing the shots I wanted to get at Lake Geneva Country Meets. Like probably an hour. I probably spent an hour practicing this and then we had to move it. So, you know, I went with it. I got some cool pictures, some cool video still, but um, I was, you know, disappointed Different. that you know, it's like Bye -bye. all these kids that are whining that, you know, oh, we can't play our high school sports because of coronavirus. I get it, man. I spent a lot of time practicing my drone shots for it to yeah. not be able to happen. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Same. Um, also, you got some cool shots of your house and all the Christmas lights. I did, which was wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. We... My other product recommendation is the 10 times bright LED Christmas lights. They have like the normal LED ones. And so we have, okay. So I love exterior Christmas lights. Love, love, love them. So you, know, you can get the little tiny bulbs, which is what Tyler and Bridget did. Yeah. Um, and those work really good in your house because you have a really low profile with the house. It's yep. the brick. It works great. I love the huge bulbs. I believe they're called like, um, I don't know. C5. I, have no idea. I don't know. They're big. <laughs> the problem is those work really great as incandescents because the incandescent bulb goes so far or filament goes so far down it that it makes it very bright. But as an LED, which is much more energy efficient, so you can have it all night and not have a thousand dollar energy bill, because the <laughs> LED emitter, the light emitting diode, the diode, is so far down, the tip of the big bulb doesn't stay bright. So what I did was get the medium size so like still a traditional bigger bulb but medium they are so bright don't get the normal ones because it's just like oh the led is not that bright they have a two times one they're like super bright <laughs> and, you know like that's cool but but no we were no. on a final approach to o'hare from a lot of places so these people as they're coming from wherever you know they probably have a bad impression of america because of the way things have been going in america but as they're on file, they're coming down, coming down. They see my house, like Clark Wizzle, because we got the 10 times ultra brights. So that's my other recommendation. 10 times Whoa. ultra bright LED C2, C5, I don't know, whatever the medium sized bulbs are. I'll put a link to that. Um, they're all sold out right now. So, you know, but so. the next year, if you want to be merry and bright and come home and just be like, ah, my house is cheery. <laughs> Well, Nick's got the lights for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, now you know exactly what lights to get for next year. So we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back.
we're back. <laughs> I sang that one. I yeah. sang it from y'all. Back <laughs> um, in festive stuff. Back in we're not back in black. Back oh. in festive. I was stuff. about to sing a Backstreet Boys song. Oh my God, we're back again. I don't remember. Okay, moving on. Oh God, I don't want to. Yeah, Maybe it's in I don't know. Shame on me for not knowing that. Well, guys, okay. I think that we're going to start removing this segment after today because what I said to Nick when I was looking at the fantasy update, I was like, I got to go see if see if fantasy is even still happening. <laughs> so if that gives you any idea of how I've been doing. Not well. Not it's well, not Bruce. great. I honestly didn't even look at it this whole week. And obviously I lost. Uh, it wasn't as embarrassing for... I mean, it was bad. I lost by 37 points or so. That's not good. <laughs> no. Oh, it's playoffs because it says round one. So clearly, I mean, I'm, I'm in the loser's bracket, I imagine. Maybe I'm done. I have no idea. But then, it, I mean, yeah, I got it. I really dropped the ball this year on fantasy. I blame it on 2020. I think that's fair. We're going to move funny. on. <laughs> Is it one of the uh, girl cousins that we spoke of so lovingly? Probably. Um, I think Avery is still winning. Good job, Avery. Yeah, man. Great job, Avery. <laughs> I don't even know. Here's the league. Okay, standings. Yeah, it's Avery. But her sister has been bumped to third place by Spencer. So, sorry. I'm in seventh out of... Um, oh, yeah, I'm in seventh. And then three people are tied for last. So, we're doing great. Okay. You're not last. <laughs> nope, not yet. But I will be. <laughs> I mean, it all started so promising. So It really did. But then it just, once it started downhill, it just can continued. And it was the week that all the, like my whole team blew up because of COVID. And I just like, I, I could not do anything else. I was like, there's no players to pick up. I don't know what to do. <laughs> all right. And now it's time for. Interesting questions with Bridget and Nick. Christmas edition. Christmas edition. Oh, that sounded like reminded me of Troy and Abed in the morning, which I missed. Troy and Abed in the morning. Troy and Abed in the morning. I have I not that. watched that in so long. I need to rewatch it. All right, we're going this is festive. Like AP Bio class now that has like four seasons. Did you know about this? No. <laughs> yeah, there's an AP Bio class. I don't. I'm kind of interested in it, but also like I don't know. You're pretty busy. <laughs> so. Well, good to know. Um, no, I didn't know that. But oh we're going to talk about... What are you what? binging right now? Do you have a love list of stuff you're binging? I'm, I'm like, watching uh, Queen's Gambit right now. I know, uh, actually. I'm enjoying I really that. that. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I Sarah, of watched. course, went and binged it faster than me because I, my binging is, like, watching an episode a week. So. Oh, yeah. Tyler started watching one episode, and I was, like so angry. I was like, I've been waiting to watch this with you. I thought it would be one we would enjoy. And he's like, I put it on because I thought it would put me to sleep. I'm like, oh, okay, great. I mean, it's about chess, sex, and drugs. Oh, well, Some I'm not sure you're interesting. I, I just have heard it's really good. But honestly, really no, good. I dive full on into the holiday season and I am watching all of the Hallmark movies while it's relatively acceptable. I... We're derailing this segment, but I saw yeah, this yeah. hilarious uh, meme of somebody took, so like craft beer, people just keep pooping out IPAs that are like 60% Citra hop, 40% mosaic, 57 hit Citra, 32% mo like the same formula over and over and over again. So somebody pooping took all the Hallmark Christmas movies and put in like a beer meme thread of, they changed the name so like, super terrible generic beer names that all these people come up with that were like making fun of this thing and like how all the Christmas movies are the same formula and it, it yes. was really funny. I'll see <laughs> if I can find it. You should. I, I assume it was on Reddit? Yes, was it, it was on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. This would be my guess. Um, It is funny. I mean, like, obviously, you know what you're getting in for if you watch Hallmark movies. But I've been watching like one a night when the kids go to bed because they're so dumb. So I can work during them and catch up on things or whatever. And right. um, yeah, and but the plots are just like so funny. You can tell which ones are from years past and then which ones are like modern. Um, like, 
I don't know, I just watched one about a newspaper, like this person had like a newspaper article. And I'm like, oh, well, this can't be modern, like, whatever, it was so funny. But the newspaper was struggling financially. So I was like, oh, it is modern. <laughs> it, it's they're so dumb. Anyway, I quite enjoy it. So on to what we're gonna say are interesting questions. But really, they're just like silly festive questions, because well, how much more fun? Oh, okay. Allah. La la la. Um, I don't know the answer to all of them. So we're going to start with this. I think I know how you'll answer this one. Would you rather take a ride on the Polar Express or the Grinch's sled? Bridget, let me ask you a question. I, yes. <laughs> Do we ever, ever let it cool? Ha, ha, oh, we got oh. it. Ha. Ha, oh, we got it. Ha, ha, oh, I we got it. Do not like that part in that chocolate. movie. Here we only got one rule. Here we only got one so, rule. Never, ever want... let it cool. Yeah, do you Polar want Express. Polar what type Express? of idiotic question is that? But is that because you love the movie, or what is your reason? Love trains. Love the movie. Want to go see Santa Claus. Yeah, so my answer... Hot chocolate. Like... I don't want hot chocolate. I... I hate hot chocolate. You don't like hot beverages. I knew you'd answer Polar Express. And I think uh, my answer was going to be the Grinch's sled because, like, he does some crazy shit. Like, he goes up and down these very steep mountains, and it's completely unrealistic. And so I just want to see how it all happens. Oh, you think a rocket ship is more unrealistic than taking a ride to the North Pole on a train? I mean, trains are more realistic than this sled that's pulled by a wiener dog. <laughs> I mean, that's fair full of toppling gifts <laughs> but so i just want to see it but but you know tempting that the polar express ends at the north pole because i would like to go to the north pole so it's a real tough question <laughs> kicking it off with real issues north pole. i feel like britney has been to the north pole as part of her environmental studies britney why don't you write in and let us know okay <laughs> seems like something you would do <laughs> okay <clears throat> Would you rather have a big white beard like Santa or pointy elf ears? And this is year round. I made that. So point. I have a beard. I keep it fairly closely trimmed. Mm -hmm. I'm terrified of white hair. Just because that means you're aging? Yeah, I don't do well with aging. I really don't. Um, <gasps> all right. So is it like all the way down? Yeah, I mean, it's Santa pushing? length. I think it's Santa Link. It says big white beard like Santa. So I'm going to say, you know, a decent fluff. I'm a little bit of a messy eater. Um, <laughs> like Sounds like pointy out here. Save some things. Yeah. If it was white, like try to eat spaghetti with that. I love spaghetti. And you get the marinara on that white beard, that's not good. So what a I'm, real challenge. I'm going to go with the pointy ears because I can just wear a hat like this. And yeah. uh, boom, cover Nobody it right knows. up. Nobody knows. It's a tough one, but I, I too would go with pointy ears. I feel like there's no it's rule saying girl. It's a little weirder. The yeah, circus I left guess. town a long time ago, Bridget. You You're want to right. talk about like not modern movies? The circus. But even if I pretended it was normal that I had a beard, I think beards get nappy. Like my husband has had a beard forever, but you know, like just. Requires more washing. I don't know. Just give me some pointy yeah. ears. You're right. Food gets stuck in it. Anyway. Gotta be careful. Great. Pointy elf ears for both of us. Pointy All right. elf ears. This is... I don't know the answer to this one either. Would you rather string a mile of popcorn garland or wrap 100 presents? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a tough one. Do you hate wrapping presents like all men? It's the worst. I do bags. Uh, or yeah. and I use newspaper or I come to Lake Geneva Country Meats and use butcher paper. Butcher paper. Hmm. I mean, that you still have to wrap it. Yeah, that's a tough a one. mile. Uh-huh. Yeah. And popcorn breaks easily. I don't know. 5,280 feet. <laughs> Plus, I got to imagine you have to pop that popcorn. It doesn't say, or you could buy a mile's worth, I suppose. From our friend Tristan. <laughs> Are you doing 63,360 inches? Oh, okay. 63,000 inches. No, I feel like a popcorn is an inch, then you can probably do about an inch space. 
So you're like 30,000 popcorns. Oh, man. I just as, to much as, as much as I hate wrapping presents, I'm wrapping the presents. I know. I think that's got to be true. A mile of, oh, that's the worst. That's I know. Like Dante's seven circles of hell right there. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to also obviously wrap the presents. There, There's no time limit, so it doesn't say if I have to like do this all in a day. Yeah. So maybe I can do two a day for three months. <laughs> well, um, okay, great. I know, okay? That's more. Um, you know, I think what would be funny is if like a personal trainer was named Dante and his gym was like, Dante's Circles of Hell themed, and the different workouts were different levels of hell. And you got like, you know, you know that my trainer was named Dante. Yeah, that's why I thought of it. Okay, I was like, right? You know that. I didn't, otherwise, I it was going to be really Dante's intense. Levels of Hell. Well, he, um, it was. <laughs> so uh, pass along the name rec. Oh man, he's a very nice person. Um, okay, this one is like really weird, but I'm just gonna ask it to wrap it up here. Would you rather have Christmas, Christmas lights, present? just like those hundred Christmas presents we're wrapping? Would you rather have Christmas lights for hair or a light up nose like Rudolph? Ooh, ooh, Tuffy. ooh. There's so These many logistics. Desirable folks. things for me. <laughs> really? Well, I guess like you could electrocute yourself in the shower with the Christmas light Probably hair. Either way, right? Because if your nose is lighting up, is oh, there that one's easy to put like a shower cap over? Oh yeah, just like this. <laughs> uh, but so is your head, in theory, easy to put a shower cap on. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. This one's weird. You could be like a big time EDM musician. Yeah. With the Christmas tree hair. Like, think about Ooh. that. Like, you're doing your, like, Good. your sets, and you got your Christmas light hair, like, going all over. Um, uh, well, that's true. Like, light up nose would be, like, a fun parlor trick. And, you know, like, you do the thing, you know, your freshman year of college, and you, you meet your people, like, tell us two things true. And one the century, you're like, oh, and my nose lights up like Rudolph. Nobody would guess your nose actually oh. lights up like Rudolph. So then, yeah, so and then, yeah, like, you win that game. For that so, purpose, then. <laughs> and think about, like, all the times when the power goes out and you need a light. You don't you need a light. Right. You just got but one I mean, right here. Also, your hair is lights. You probably also have lights there, too. More atmospheric, I would say, than directional. <laughs> you know, like, your nose light, you can be like... <laughs> just looking for a candle. <laughs> you know, you're going, okay. rummaging through your, your pantry, looking for that can of beans. And, you know, you can't really see, but, oh, wait. <laughs> I have my nose light. Yeah, so nose Bill, light. Nose light. Nose light too would be my answer. And that's because I'm a woman that has long hair. And I just feel like lights would get tangled, right? Obviously, they would get tangled. So oh, I don't right. want to think about it. Yeah, yeah, man. Duh. Christmas lights always getting tangled. That was a riveting round of questions. That was a good one. I like that one. Were you being sarcastic? <laughs> I thought that was good. Actually was good. I forgot because I wrote them, I copied and pasted them from a website a while ago. So I had to reread. I, they were, they were hard. I forgot that. They were, yeah. I like that. Oh, you for a challenge, Nick. <laughs> I, you know me, I'm down for, for, for challenges. Oh, well, okay. So this upcoming week, I'm sorry to say we're not doing our normal meal plan at Lake Geneva Country Meets because it is Christmas week and that would be silly. Um, so instead, we're just going to talk through um, some of our favorite things to eat at holidays. Nick already spoiler alerted this, however, with no spoiler alert. Spoiler alerted, <laughs> alerted this. It is so, bubble up. So whatever. I mean, is there anything you missed, Nick? Anything you forgot to tell us about food-wise? You know, I, like I enjoy making duck. I really enjoy making duck. I've done that sure. a couple years because we kind of always have some frozen yeah. So I like making duck. It's a very festive thing. You know, you can do it. I do it sous vide with like some cranberries and oranges and stuff. And Ooh, yeah. it's really good. And then you sear the crap out of it. Do people still so like good. make goose? Like I was noticing I was yeah. doing some social media work and yeah, I saw the goose. Do, are people doing that? 
Yeah, we sell maybe like 20 geese a year for Christmas. Have you ever had a goose? I don't think so, no. Do you, are you a dark meat or a light meat poultry person? I usually eat white meat. You will not like goose. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I was reading through our recipe about it and was like, mm, I don't know if this is for me, but it looks fast. Very flavorful. It's, you know, not yeah. cheap. Um, but it's very flavorful, and if nice. you like, spend some time cooking it. Yeah. Um, like it's really good, but you gotta cook it all the way through because it's a very like rich dark meat thing. So you gotta get good temperature on it, and like it does It'll have a bit a of like, yeah, like it has a bit of greasiness and a bit of like, you should put a good rub on it. Yeah, I'm just so like intrigued by it again because we're doing this whole Christmas recipe series, and that's one of them. I was like, oh, goose. I'll make anyway. you goose. Thanks, man. Next time we have dinner, goose. <laughs> goose. It's on the menu. Tyler was all excited. He's like, oh, good. I'm getting duck. No, fake out. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I mean, maybe he'll like it. I don't know. Um. So speaking of things he <laughs> loves, he'll tell me anything I make him is good. <laughs> I know because this is exactly what I'm about to tell you. So. Forever. So a couple years back, Tyler and I started the tradition of us doing, we just took Christmas Eve. We're like, no one on either side of our family really did much on Christmas Eve. And we're like, why are we trying to do everything on Christmas Day? Let's just like break it up a little and do a Christmas Eve party. Um, so anyway, we usually do just like appetizers and cocktails. But prior to that, um, traditionally, Christmas Eve, we would have, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this, we would have chicken Kiev at my parents' house. Uh, yeah, we just like grew up having it. I think like market day. day. Yes, I yes. think it was for market day. So, but like, I love it. And um, we, so I just, it's just like a thing we've always had in our freezer, just if you can't think of a meal, right? Yes. So for, I mean, Tyler and I have been together for a million years and I would cook it enough and he <laughs> cook, I would take it out of a bag in the freezer. And he finally admitted, he's like, I hate these why are you cooking them but like for years and years and years he ate these because like what's not they're not terrible it's just like breaded chicken with something inside of it you know so anyway we used to have chicken kiev every christmas eve and we would like use the fancy dining room and the nice china at my mom's and we don't do that anymore it's unrealistic and tyler doesn't like chicken kiev <laughs> so that's one of my favorite like things we eat at christmas but we don't actually do it anymore <laughs> did you get china for your wedding um, no, so I wanted, I always wanted China like that was a hand-me-down that had a story if I was going to have it. I didn't want to register for new China, so. And your mom's no. still alive, so. Well, I actually did get some from, um, I want Lucille. So our Lucy is named after a um, relative, obviously, so a great grandma. So, um, but anyway, I do have a set of China. It just like wasn't exactly the heartfelt story, but it was handed down from someone I never knew, you know. Oh, so okay. anyway. We didn't want China. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't it. It's not like generationally something I think many of us got. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. No, you haven't been over because we've been doing the social distancing thing. But we got some yeah. gold rimmed Christmas themed wine glasses. What? Because my grandmother, and we had to buy them from Home Goods. My grandmother had these like terribly chintzy, like this big, you know, like wine goblets. I think you would technically call them. Yeah. They're like gold rim Christmas themed with like doves on them. And yeah, we would always go to my grandma's house and like just kind of congregate there and hang out in happier times. <laughs> and um, we wanted two things, Sarah and I, from my grandma's house. We wanted a cookie jar. We got that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we wanted these wine glasses. Those didn't work out. Didn't, we didn't get those. And we're not sure what happened. We're, it's a point of contention. But yes. so we bought our own. So that's. You know, that's what that's we, like. Awesome. we like. We drink all December long. We're drinking our wine from our gold rimmed, chintzy, Christmas themed wine goblets. It's a lot of fun. I yeah. I when my grandma died, it was a coffee mug. Everyone wanted this one coffee mug. Um, but obviously, only one grandchild could have it. But now many of us have a replica version. Like I got a replica one off of eBay. Like it's the same mug. You know, it just is this white mug with like a rainbow on it. Um, so a lot of us have got, I got it for my sisters for a gift or for, I think Brittany got my grandma. No, I think my cousin Jessica got my grandma's actual mug. I'm not sure. But I, you know, so we've since now made sure we all kind of have one. Um, but we didn't, there was just no real Christmas China at our house. Like 
Shannon just founded this set on Facebook Marketplace that she sent me and was like, is this cool or tacky? I'm like, are you going to buy this? And it was like, had holly leaves on it. And I loved it. I was like, I need this, but like, no, I don't need formal China. And I specifically don't need formal China that's good for one month of the year. <laughs> so anyway, no, no formal China. We just graze on Christmas morning. Like we put out, you know, egg bakes, cinnamon rolls, etc., and call it a day. That's what we do. That's what we're eating. <laughs> wow. You know what time it is? It's time for Kid Corner. All right. Excellent. Bridget, what you got? Okay, what I got, what I got. So I had to think about this because like lots of kids stuff these days, but it's not Christmas related. It is, it is um, winter related in that we have been watching Frozen 1,200 times a week at our house. Um, both of my kids love it. Frozen Specifically, 1, Frozen 2, Olaf's Big Adventure. Which all one? of any of them that Tyler and I can like stomach. We're like, which one haven't we seen in the last 24 hours? <laughs> so we watch them all um, so many times, all of them. So what Lucy has started doing is Lucy has a limited vocabulary, but she's, she's speaking and she... she Oh yeah, of course. No, no, no. But she also is very good at Elsa, Elsa, Moana, Elsa. Mm -hmm. So then we say, okay, you have to pick which one, Elsa. So we put it on. Anytime any song comes on, she thinks it's let it go. And she just, she'll put her one arm out like this and she'll go, go. And she spins in circles literally until she falls. So it's like, she's going go singing and spinning, spinning, spinning. And then she stops and she legit like stumbles like a drunk person around the house until she crashes down and falls. And so now Elliot thinks it's funny to do spinning, spinning, spinning. And he's like, how many times do I have to spin until I'm dizzy? We're like, I don't know, man, like test it out. So I'm horrified and terrified that my kids are going to spin, spin, spin and puke. Yeah, um, Elliot especially. I'd be worried that kid is going to like go a little hardcore on it and puke. For sure. Little ham. So anyway, it's very funny and it's adorable. And this is like how she dances. And now Elliot's in on it. But we're doing a lot of Elsa singing and spinning at our house. And then they look like drunk little children falling all over the place. Good times. Good job, Lou. That's a great story. Yep, good. Thanks, man. What's up with you? Really, Simona, uh, what's up with Simona? Simona, you know, we got the tea first coming in. Oh, more yeah. and more tea every day. All and the time. her two front teeth are coming in. And Cute. it is terrifying. Cause like, oh, really? They're like, not in, but like, if she's on her back and her mouth's open like this. Oh, you yeah. You see like the backs of them through her gums. And they're like <laughs> these big buck teeth. And it's like... <laughs> Are you a hick? Oh, like, are you Kentucky? Like, I saw where you came from. So, like, I <laughs> I know you're not a Kentuckian. Oh, my but, God. Like, girl, you got Ooh. some big ass buck teeth there. Wait, does um, she have other teeth down on the bottom? Yeah, she's got all the bottom ones. Oh. And she's also, so, like, now she's got, like, so, like, these, the front two aren't, like, all the way down, and they're kind of, like, a millimeter apart from each other so it's like a yeah. little awkward and then the canines are trying to come in and so it's like this weird you can see it from an angle thing and it's gross like it's honestly it is, gross. It is gross yeah and good call not to explain it it is terrifying i you know there's like i know you're not on reddit but there's all these hilarious like memes about how you know what type of species would evolve would evolve to have its most vulnerable point of its throat right where anybody can shoot it. You know what I mean? I was like, what type of species would evolve to make something it needs to survive, teeth to chew food, come in as the most painful, infection-ridden, fever-driving thing ever? I mean, true that, man. It's the worst. <laughs> it's a weird thing. Yeah, it is weird. And yeah, constantly hands in mouth, more germs coming from all the hands, drool, snot. It's really lovely. Magical cool. time. Magical I, time. <laughs> I get like, it's like, ah, let's put some teeth. Because like, I was a kid that like, I would just like go to work on taking teeth out, right? I was like, this one's a little loose, like, really? out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my God, that like, just like, gives me just, like, yank. Ew. I didn't care. And when I wasn't men. even in for the money. I was just in for the like, boom, <laughs> gone. Done with okay, this. Man. That's gross, but whatever. Yeah, now it's 
you know, it is what it is. Well, that's what's happening with our kids. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this week, everybody. We'll be back after Christmas. Uh, yes. Maybe we can hear about all the awesome things Tyler got Bridget. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, please. Once there's kids in the picture, adult Christmas, what? <laughs> maybe we it's, can hear about more drone stories. I don't know. I It's going to be fun. I'm sure we'll have stories. I bet Kid Corner is going to be fire next week, I would guess. <laughs> So, fire. Fire. Oh. so we hope you enjoyed your festive little episode with us. Um, you know, send in pics in your ugly sweaters because, you know, I love a good theme and love to see it. Um, thanks for listening, guys. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, one and all. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.